all right you do in this video what we are going to see is how to create a live search what do i mean by live search as you can see on the screen you have a text box what the text box can do it can filter the name what do i mean by that when you type a specific letter if i say i all the names with i comes up if i key if i type my name you will see my name followed by the name phone number and location you will get the current location fine not just a full name but just a type of name if you see there is a name called raja you type a j a that means not the full name but a part of the name which can also be searched with the help of our php query okay let's get into the code first let me start from scratch we need a bootstrap form you can quickly get the bootstrap form on the internet you will both just copy the open code first it consumes a lot of time and you get a free ready mode code on www.dwp.com just copy it we are going to paste it and best you can what's there on the index page we need two different page here we need index.php and the fetch.php what index.php does is it shows the output whereas the fetch.php takes the control of your background query fine we have a index.php and we have a fetch.php we are going to get the output from the fetch.php to the index.php with the help of ajax so in simple term simple term what ajax is is without the page reloading we are going to get the data from another file that's the main purpose of ajax let me repeat it without page reload we are going to get the data from another page that's the main purpose why we use or most of the people use ajax fine we don't we don't need this for now let me start from scratch let me show what our index php has we know we don't need the second we don't need this div which says remember me and we don't need the submit button so we need to change the sorry id and the name if you want you can rename this search by name should fine now the very first thing what you have to do is you have to change the action what do we don't have submit button so that is no use of using action so we'll skip it for now now it's time for ajax ajax will be written inside the script tag as we have copied the bootstrap template it already had the jquery cdn you can see here if you don't have you have to implement it one key when we can execute the jquery code fine the boy the when the document is ready just execute a alert so that I can understand that our jQuery loads fine. That's the reason why I have why I have executed and fine. So 
so this is the end of document it is really a good practice if we write comments the second thing is when I write something I want the value to be fetched choose the ID of text box we in this case it is search dot key up on key up get the value on key up I need to execute a function so I have executed inside the parameter of key up so on key up get the value of text box and store it into a value called variable called value and alert it what this will do if I type something the value is showed on the alert this is the reason why I have written those lines of code so whatever value we are able to fetch it and this value we are going to send it to the fetch.php please note whatever value we type on the input field that value is we are going to fetch it and we are going to pass it to the fetch.php so how with the help of ajax are the value we will be passing first one is URL second one is data second one is method the sequence does not matter but the data does method and the data we are going to pass and the data type we are going to specify and on success what it should do Basis, that's the reason we mentioned comment or else it won't work the first one is URL where we are going to send the data it is in this case it is fetch dot PHP the method would be post and the data here would be text data type is text and the data would be the object we would be passing which we have retired from the text box that is value and I'm going to store it into a variable called search fine data type and uh, the alert once the data we retrieve and we have passed to the fetch.php now it's time to write a query for it we are going to use the select data from so this will be the best case here. Copy this. That one was specially dedicated to a certain function. So set loss of over. We need a PHP code which is procedural. For this case, we will use procedural one, not the object oriented. Just copy it and paste it. And now we are going to go for the database. Database is really important. That's the reason why we get the value from the table. So to access the database in SAM, you would be using localhost slash PHP. 
be my opinion. We are not going to create a table here. I will show you. So else we can make on the comment. And we have a table called PBL underscore if it has certain columns which is first one is ID, the second one is name, the third is phone, and the fourth one is address. I have already populated some of the values on the database. Now we are just going to use this database and going to retrieve some of the values. That's it. Since we have a PHP code here, you can really get it from W3 school, nothing more. So it's time to rewrite the PHP code. The username for the XAMPP is root and the password is zero by default, nothing by default. And the database would be which I have shown you comment. Now it's time to write the query. We are going to write the select star from our table is tbl underscore info where we are going to filter it by name like going to use the like operator that's the reason why we can specify one single word and expect the full output of the name let me repeat it that's the reason we are using like so that if I type a single word like I you get all the names which has I in it if you want you can test this on the SQL post on capital letter <coughs> search <coughs> sorry so if you you you're not going to run because you know there is an error here so the value we are going to pass as a HTML. What do I mean by that? We are going to retrieve the value from the database and pass the value as a table, as a output variable. the variable now when we execute a query we are going to initialize the value so on the table It is the HTML, so we are writing it on the double quotes. TR. Inside that, we have TD. Not just one CD, some more TD. The first one would be name, phone, and address. then close the TR now it's time for the output variable that means loop we don't need the else here dollar output dot equal to that means concatenate 
now previously it was nothing now we have seen that the value retrieved has some value so initialize the output value with the table and then execute a while loop and store the value from the database to the output and repeat the loop tr t d the same t d and then tr we have three values here so td open so we first need to close the td one td has closed opened closed the same way we need one more thing you can pause and look at the code what i have written We are going to embed the value which we have fetched with the help of while loop. This is an array. The first one is name. The second one is phone. And the third one is address. Let me run this code. Before that, you need to echo it. The variable which you have defined. Please note, I have used a dot equal to dot equal to fetch. There seems to be an error, a semicolon error, we have missed it. Shit. Yes, that works fine. Just add the bootstrap class table. seems to be working exactly what we want now go to the index page now we have got the value from the database and we are going to pass the database value with the help of variable output to the Ajax the value we would be getting from the parameter called success can write any name and choose the div create a div with id result the reason for having the empty div is get the value from database and populate the value on the empty div the id it is result so HTML. We are going to embed the HTML and the parameter of the function. Just as we will see the V. So that says the name. If I type I, you see all the values of the name which have I in it. So if you type a full name, you will get the phone number, you will get the address scope of this video is done you will get the source code in the description box thank you for listening